Welcome! So we're back to showing lieback LPs. I said in the last video that um, there probably wouldn't be any more lieback to show for a little bit of time and this video I'm probably not going to publish particularly soon after me recording it here today. I'm going to maybe push it back further along in the schedule just so that there is a bit more of that break from lieback that I promised. But I have got three more lieback LPs that I really wanted to show you. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, enough time's passed where you actually want to see some more again. I certainly am really loving collecting lieback on vinyl record at the moment. I've got two purchases from two different Discogs marketplace sellers to show you. And then I'm going to do a mail opening from another company at the end. Right, so the first Lieback album I'll show you, which I think would have been classed as technically their third studio album. This was like the remaining one that I really, really wanted. I was kind of holding off a little bit, trying to find it for a good price. It came up a few times on eBay. I think I missed out on an auction. Someone bid what I thought was a bit high for what it was. Uh, a few different pressings, but I think I've got an original UK pressing here. I'm talking about Opus Day. This would have been from Opus Day. I think this was 1986, maybe 87. Not listened to this yet. All these I'm going to show you are standard black vinyl records, by the way. So not a lot to look at, but this being second hand. But yeah, quick butchers at that, but nothing really to see there. Opus Day features there might even be more than one version of it actually i've not listened to the album yet not even digitally so i couldn't say for sure but there might be more than one version of their amazing cover of life is life the opus kind of one hit wonder well it was a one hit wonder in the uk i think they're from austria maybe that was from sort of 1986 this album i think probably came out not too long after that original single from opus but opus day by lieback there we go so i'm getting through these quite quickly as there's not an awful lot for me to talk about the next album was another one i'd not forgotten about it i knew i would want it eventually I kind of forgot that it was quite reasonably priced on Discogs. This from a different seller, but I think including postage, and same with Opus Day as well, I paid well under £20 for each of these. But this one, I'm trying to remember the date, it might be 1990 this, possibly. But this is Lieback Sympathy for the Devil. And it's an unusual one, this, because it's not technically just a lieback album. It features a lot of their kind of collaborators and spin-offs and stuff. If I can read anything on the back of here, I'll list one. For instance, Germania, which I think is a female singer, actually. She does a version of Sympathy for the Devil. It's all versions of the same track, I believe. I don't think there's anything different on here, but they're all done in a different style. Some are by Lieback, some are by Lieback spin-offs and offshoots, some are by Lieback's NSK collaborators. All different interpretations of the one track. I think this is classed as an official Lieback studio album. Just come in... In fact, no, it didn't come in a plain inner sleeve. I actually bought this inner sleeve myself. The record just came in this normal outer sleeve. So uh, I treated myself to 25 of these nice quality inner sleeves from a website that I use quite regularly for record protection type stuff. I paid a little bit more for these ones that have got like the polythene lining in them. But the normal paper ones would have been fine, but for an extra couple of quid, I thought I'd go a little bit premium. Sympathy for the Devil, originally a Rolling Stones track. Not heard anything on here either, that's the thing with Lieback. Apart from the stuff that I heard years ago, which wasn't much really, probably Life is Life, one of their versions of that, and maybe one or two other bits that I'd heard. And of course, when they uh, remixed Own a Dish by Rammstein some years ago but until I started collecting them on vinyl I'd not really heard hardly anything of theirs yeah looking forward to that one as well so we move on away from Discogs where I've got a lot of lieback onto a site I've only used these once before that was to get the Lindemann Live in Moscow CD and Blu-ray set that I got at some point last year there is a video on that along with some other purchases down in my music collecting playlist so uh, check that out but this is from Sister Ray Records I uh, can't remember whereabouts they're based here in the UK but they're definitely a British company like an independent record store that also has a pretty good online section as well 
the price of this including postage it was around 20 pound this will be brand new as well but i think technically this is like the newest or one of the newest lieback albums that's come out give it a bit more of a slice I'd seen this around a, a few sites, hovering between the 20 to 30 pound mark. It wasn't one I was desperate for, but I'd not used Sister Ray in a while. So I just thought, yeah, you know what, I'll get this from there. Probably the best price I'd seen it anywhere. Uh, looks like we've got, is that a Sister Ray? Yep, that's a Sister Ray sticker there. Never had one of those before. That looks quite nice. Oh, in fact, we've got two of them. I don't think they're any different. I think they're the same. The next album, the final lieback album to show you today, is Bremen Marsh, and it's essentially a live album. I think this particular pressing came out either last year or the year before, so quite recent in terms of the lieback release chronology, but the actual gig itself was one in uh, Bremen, Germany from 1987. Not an essential edition, but I have got, is it one or two lieback live albums now, not including this, including this, it might be two or three. I just kept seeing it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try and get as much lieback eventually as possible so uh, I'll just get this now and um, road test sister Ray again as I've only used them once before for one item that was you know six months ago or more interesting artwork there it's got that sort of old school kind of cold war or maybe even it's given more of a world war two vibe to me although obviously it isn't it's an official release it's not on mute records which is where lieback release all their proper studio albums and on that subject last night actually I pre-ordered the brand new lieback album it's technically a soundtrack album rather than a studio one but I've pre-ordered that from Mute Bank that's coming out in June so I'll definitely be showing you that when it comes out really excited about that as that is obviously brand new live act music as opposed to something like this which I'm looking forward to I think it'll be a great listen but it's just a live album from god almost 40 well almost 35 years ago really but um, still goes nicely in the collection. Bremen Marsh. And there we are. Three more Liebach records. The fourth video totally dedicated to this unusual, eccentric, but for me, very exciting Slovenian avant garde industrial band. Thoroughly enjoying collecting Liebach. There are bits still missing from the collection that are either just too expensive for me at the moment or haven't even come out on vinyl record. I could get a lot of this stuff on CD. In fact, I think the Bremen Marsh album does include a CD in with it anyway. They just double up for that. It's got the album on CD, even when you buy the vinyl record. I'll check that later on. Thank you all for watching, and special thanks, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my Patreon link, my Facebook group link, and lots of interesting affiliates, discount codes, and the like all down in the description text box. I'm going to go now, and I'm probably going to listen to Opus Day first. That's the one that I was really excited about out of these three. The other two, Sympathy for the Devil, I think I would have been going for that pretty soon anyway, had I not suddenly remembered that there was a seller selling it quite cheap. And uh, Brayman Marsh, bit of an inessential, almost impulsive purchase, but uh, still glad to have it. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next record collecting, be that lieback or someone completely different, you're probably hoping, <laughs> collecting video. I've lost my trail of thought there. Cheers, everyone. See ya!